from O'Keefe's Road. And we're just going to head out to Wombat Crossing. Um, there's a few campgrounds out there that are quite good. Um, not, not as well known as some places like Huggett's Crossing and places like that, but it's not too bad a spot. So we'll go and have a quick look at those and see what they're like. So we'll just turn left down here onto um, Wombat Road, and that'll take us through to um, the first of the, the first of the Wombat Crossing um, campsites. Uh, they're pretty good. They're on the Avon River. As you can see, the the track coming in, it's not too bad. It's pretty much an all weather road. Um, it's a good track. So you'll see that like either side of the track it's been cleared back a bit from the track you know in some places 10 meters other places 15 sometimes 20 um, from the track and that's basically um, as a result of the fires from a few years ago um, with Delt coming in and clearing the tracks out um, just to make a fire break and um, you know make it a bit more accessible for them to come in and, uh, and the CFA to fight the fires uh, we had some big fires come through here a few years back um, which really shut the joint down for a fair while so they just want to you know sort that out and make sure it's all good to go Signposted, um, and it's a good little camp spot. This one stayed here a couple of times, so we'll have a bit of a walk around and um, yeah, see what it's like. It's not a bad little spot. This there's Max in all his glory. So you've got a decent area. Uh, to, to set up camp, there's not a great deal of grass, um, it's very dirt, uh, but decent fire pit there that people have set up. That's probably one of the original barbecues that were set up, um, it's just a bit of concrete. Uh, and another fire pit over here with a little bit of grass, you can set up a tent, it'd be nice and pleasant. Um, so access down to the water, it's a bit of a short walk, um, probably about 40, 50 metres or so. Uh, down to the Avon River. Okay, so this is one of the tracks down to the um, actual Avon River. As you can see, um, it's it's a not a bad little walk down, but um, once you get down to the bottom, yeah, a bit of a rocky riverbed, um, but it's not that deep. It, in this spot, it's only probably about knee deep, if anything, a little bit more than knee deep. Um, so it's a great place for a paddle. This is probably the best campsite out of Campside B. The reason I say that is it's down sort of closer to the river. Um, yeah, it's in a bit of a hollow, but it's not too bad. Um, but when you get to coming over towards where the river is, 
it's only a little bit of a short walk and you're actually at the river so we'll go and have a bit of a look and see what we can find Obviously you've had people that have driven down here um, recently, but it's not a bad little walk down until you get to the water's edge of the Avon River. See so the river's up a bit, we've had a bit of rain of late. Um, so you've got this nice little spot here, absolutely magnificent, magnificent little part of the river. So yeah, so that was a Wombat Crossing campsite B. Um, yeah, so you might be asking, where's Wombat Crossing? You know, never heard of it, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, well, Wombat Crossing, it's just, um, just up, oh, I'd say, west of Valencia Creek in Gippsland. Um, I'll um, see if we can find her on a map and I'll take a bit of a screening, put it on a map or I'll work something out.
Alright, so we're just on Dermody's Road now, just heading out to Dermody's campground. Um, it's in the um, Avon Mount Her Hedrick. Herrick? Hedrick? Uh, something like that, National Park or, you know, nature area sort of thing. I'll get it right one day. Uh, going past Green Hill Road. And we just drive out to uh, Dermody's. It's not a bad track again. Um, pretty much all weather. Um, yeah, I'm, like, I'm, I'm in two-wheel drive at the moment, so it's not a bad drive at all. Um, once you get to Dermody's, there is limited mobile service, but it's, again, a, a good campground. Um, easy to get to. Um, uh, you, you'll get a Suzuki Swift in here, you know, nine times out of ten. Not that you'd want to take a Suzuki Swift into Derby. There's nothing wrong with a Suzuki Swift, of course, but, you know, it's not really set up for camping out the bush. Something like that. Yeah, just coming down into Dermody's. Um, it's a good little, like I said before, it's a good little spot. It's got a bit of a ring road um, around the campground um, area itself, um, which you'll see as we drive along. Um, there's little campgrounds scattered all throughout on either side of the track. Um, it's a pretty good spot, this one, Dermody's. Um, now has a, um, a drop toilet. Um, and with the COVID restrictions you'll see on the sign just up here, up ahead, um, the campground is open. So we'll go around to the left on the ring road. Uh, the road itself uh, seems pretty well maintained at the moment, so good on your parks or whoever look after it. Parks, Delp, whatever, whatever you want to call yourselves this week. And they've got um, picnic tables set up um, at pretty much all the campsites, or most of the campsites. So we're coming in here now, the first one here on the left hand side. Quite open, um, but wooded. Um, probably a good idea to bring your own firewood. It's not a great deal in here. Um, and chopping down trees that are still, still growing is never a good thing. A few, few campers in here already today, this weekend. Um, it's a beautiful weekend for camping. Um, there's campsites on the right there, campsites on the left. 
drop toilets on the left hand side there that have been put in recently. I'll just cruise in here for a bit. Pull up. Might go for a bit of a look around. Okay, so here we are at Dermody's, one of the campgrounds. Just have a bit of a look around. There's Max. All right, you see it's got picnic tables and Harry's getting eaten by mozzies. The mozzies are pretty rampant at the moment, which is pretty bloody rude. The mozzies are absolutely shocking. So we'll keep going around and see if we go down to the water and see what we can find down there. So here we are. Harry's with me. He's sort of giving me a bit of a hand as we uh, do this bit of a tour. All right, we're heading down to the um, Avon River at Dermody's. Bit of a bit of a walk, but it's okay. Doesn't help that I've got a munted foot. But she's right. We'll, we'll crack on, won't we, Harry? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So just a bit of a walk around. You see. It's not a bad walk down. No. Love bringing the dogs here. Go for a swim in when it's hot. Yeah, it's a good little track down to the water. All right, so here we are. We've made it down the track and down to the water's edge. So I don't want to spend too much time with my ugly mug in the in the shot. But as you can see, there's Harry putting his feet in the water. He's a knob. There's a beautiful spot here for the swimming. The Avon River. Quite good. It's actually not that bad. It's alright? Yeah, it's alright. Good stuff. This is great in the summertime. The water's actually a bit higher at the moment. Um, but no, it's good. It's flowing nicely. Nice and steady. And it's a good little beach. Dogs love coming here for a swim. It's awesome. All right. So anyway, that's it for, for today, for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, subscribe if you haven't already. Like the vid. And, you know, come back next time. We'll see you then. See you later.